And then Beard and Humphrey rounding out the starting nine that Austin Gordon, the Tiger starter. Uh, I, I thought the guys played hard. And he continues a good series. That's a gapper. It'll one hop the wall. And Taylor pulls into second with his team leading 14th double of the season. Picked up the power over the past month. And first pitch swinging. King to his right and center. Benson to his left. It'll be Benson who calls off the center fielder. I think he was elected some at some kind of a leadership role. And that's going to get into right field. One out single for the Tigers second baseman. Really solidified this Clemson infield. Hard shot. Hit the base runner. Yep. And that'll do it. And as much a feeling of exasperation by Bertram coming in the game on Friday. And that's a hard shot past the third baseman Beard. Crichton makes the turn. Benson over. And into second. Let's see how they score it. I didn't give him a hit. Oh, yeah. It'll be the fourth in the game for the Tigers. And for Jack Crichton, his first double as a collegiate. Flight out to left to lead off the home first. First pitch swinging chopper on the right side. Keelan only played a first. Crichton moves to third and stands there with one away. Second baseman and easily out at home. Chop to the first baseman. Going to come home. Anderson throw. Tag made. And Crichton is out. Really some good defensive play that gets away from McCoy. Engel had bluffed just before the pitch. Be a wild pitch. Deliver with two outs here in the third. And that one gets away from McCoy. And also Matt Klein, a freshman catcher, is hurt. Taylor hit by a pitch again in this series. With that run batted in on the hit by a pitch in the game on Friday. And now they're loaded. That ball traveled almost 400 feet, so it was well hit. Liner right to the shortstop and on his knees. Napchik able to snare it. All right, thanks, guys. Tigers coach Eric Backage closing in on 430 wins. That one's roped down the left field line. JT Benson will have extra bases. And it's the first hit of the game for the Cardinals to start things out in the fourth inning. That was cool. Caught him on the elbow. Now first and second. Another 0-2 pitch to the freshman. Howdy. He went. And it's out number one. Kind of corrals it back up towards the plate. Engel with a man heading to third. Throw behind the runner at first. Wow. Out. Wow. What a play. Benson was on the move with the pitch. Looked like McCoy. And let's see what they have determined. And the call will stand. So he right. could have the benefit of throwing to first. It's not as if the runner could make the turn and aggressively come to the plate. Left field. Looks like the Tigers are going to get out of it. First two runners for Louisville reached. But Gordon working through trouble from there. Both Liggett and Gordon, the starting pitchers, working out of jams over the past couple of innings and a leadoff single here in the bottom of the fourth for the Clemson team. Runner on the move, grounded a short. It'll keep the Tigers out of the double play. Napchik on to first route number one, but a good piece of hit and run right there. Sophomore from just outside of Kansas City on the hill for the Cardinals. Runner on the move, Bertram throw down. Another stolen base, second in the game for the Clemson second baseman. Now he's 90 feet away. Is in the ear of Bertram. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout. Second of the game for Liggett. Now two away. You might want to hesitate a little bit to call a breaking pitch. And that one that behind McCoy. Right Here comes the runner. Flip to the plate. Safe. Safe is Bertram with the first run of the game. Good decision, Bertram. As soon as that ball got away, it didn't get all that far away, but he was breaking. Uh, you know, I think with two outs, you want to be very, very aggressive there. With Ingle on third to close out the Tigers' fifth. Little flare on the right side, long run, Keelan, and a three-hit game for Riley Bertram. Big lead, Bertram on his way. He's out. And the throw will get him as the Cardinals had runners on first and second. That's hit pretty well to left. Taylor back on it. Hill, wall, and gone. Not a lot of wind, just kept carrying, and that is home run number 12 on the year for Ryan McCoy, and we're tied at one apiece. And that was a pitch that was up just a little bit. He had been keeping the ball really down with that sinking fastball, and 
That one got up just a little bit. It was away from McCoy, and he just went with it. Got it on the fat part of the bat. And was able to drive it out in a relatively short left field porch here at Doug Kinsmore. Eight Cardinals had gone down in order. Ooh. Ball four, leadoff man on here in the seventh. But five times this year, he has had four hits at least in a There's game. There's another one. That's going to get down in right center field. Crichton will make the turn and head to third. First hit of the day for Canarella. Puts him on the corners with no one out here in the home seventh. Ball four. Again, a payoff pitch to the Clemson left fielder. Ball four, second straight day. A bases loaded walk to Will Taylor in the seventh. Puts the Tigers in front. As Crichton comes across, still nobody out. How efficient he's been on the mound has helped him mentally with his hitting. Ball four, another RBI. Tigers take a two-run lead, three to one. This time it's Canarella who comes across. With two away to close it out, and the Tigers did not score. This time solidly to center. King over, runner at third, tags. Ingle coming home. King's throw will not get there. And the Tigers build the lead to 4-1. Sack fly by Amick. Give him RBI number 31 on the year as Cooper Engel comes across. Junior third baseman from just that outside of Clearwater, Florida. King to his left. You can see why he's considered one of the better defensive center fielders in the league. Got a great job. Second inning of work on a relief of Gordon, who will not factor in the ah. decision. And the count goes four balls and down to first. Oh, that wasn't close. Boy, back-to-back, four-pitch walks with one away. Time with a shoulder injury that he suffered in the Wake Forest series. That time, Looper into left. Going to load him up. Still just one out. Just the third hit of the game for the Cardinals. First in the series for Napchik. Another big pitch. Ball Ooh. four. Yeah, Benson is 27th run batted in, and it's a 4-2 game. That was close, Pete, but it was inside. Payoff pitch, bases loaded. Chopped right side. Bertram, only play to first, they'll concede the run. Humphrey coming across to make it a 4-3 game. And now Cardinals on second and third with two men out here in the eighth. 1-1 from the Tiger freshman, Tristan Smith. And a looper to third and right there to put it away just in foul territory is Blake Wright. Smith coming on in relief of Nick Clayton last inning and not what he wanted to do. Anderson, the fifth place hitter, to be followed by King and Keelan. He was really good. Go. Runner on the move. Ball is the call. Throw down. Out. Great throw by Engel. Wow. Great jump by Hawkins. And it's one away here in the ninth inning. Blackwell, nice job. Fast man running. Got him. <laughs> Two out. Swing and a miss. And that'll do it. Hughes getting his first save of the season.